the city and county of Los Angeles and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are showing that teamwork pays off. They work together to remove miles of graffiti from the L.A. River. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia was there when crews began removing one of the biggest tags in the country. With the help of City Councilman Ed Reyes and Jose Huizar, the largest tag, according to officials, not only in the city of L.A., but in the country, is now history. You may have seen the letters MTA along the section of the L.A. River between the 4th and 6th Street bridges. It doesn't stand for the transit agency, but for the tagging crew that painted it more than a decade ago. $3.7 million of taxpayer funds will be used to paint over more than 100 miles of rivers, channels, creeks, and washes throughout L.A. City and County. It's about one-fifth of what's being spent in Southern California now for graffiti removal. In the city of Los Angeles, we are spending over $10 million a year to take down graffiti. The tag being covered today is more than two football fields in length. The Sheriff's Department is contracted by the transit agency to patrol the river area because the tracks run alongside it. So with nearly $4 million of taxpayer money being used to basically get rid of the graffiti along the river, so what's to keep taggers from coming back, say, tonight to start this process all over again? Not much. In a word, there is, there is nothing. But, but I can tell you what we found, and we, we serve about seven tagging warrants a month uh, as far as the sheriff's contingent that's under contract to MTA. We've arrested hundreds this year, and there's quite a bit of chatter among the taggers that stay off the transit system. To keep taggers from fishing around for a new spot to vandalize, Commander Finkelstein tells me when word gets out that convicted taggers are sentenced to state prison, that's been working as a deterrent in recent years. Sid Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.